height advantage over Townley, who takes a seat on the bench. Quick inbounds to Charlie, gets it to go. Pull in the Big 12. Yep, there you see Iowa State has picked third, actually lost. Been trying to feed Collier all quarter long. Continues to push tempo and make Idaho work at the defensive end as well. Jay Holly trying to join in on the three point. And they're settling for a number of outside shots. Finally, they feed it down low to Collier. And Charlie, we're just not being aware of, of how long people are in the, in the lane, like Charlie sits in there a long time. Better ball movement on that play right there. With Kyra Lambert, she's already hit one from downtown. Doesn't get that one to fall. Collier battling down low and drops it. Texas has started 0 from, for 7 from the field. Charlie Collier. Longhorns with just over 8 to play in the half. There she is, baseline, spinning and delivering. And Kadapi is unhappy about that. You mentioned the telltale sign. Collier feeding Ebo down low. Nice touch from Charlie. One and done for North Texas. Makes a big difference. Collier, she can hit that. And she does! Off right now. Longhorns on a 7 nothing run. Collier will take that. And Taylor Collier. Alan Taylor Warren and Ortiz on the floor. And they're together. That's why being on the court right now, this is an outlet. Collier on the rebound. First points for Charlie. Celeste Taylor. Oh, misses the bunny, put back by Collier. Full court, you learn to depend on each other when you have a short drop. Two seconds. Collier back up and in. They take on the identity of Vic Shaver. We saw that in game one. In game two, we've seen that, it, I think it's hit and miss. Top 30 point guard in the nation coming out of high school, according to ESPNW. Here is Hastings, denied by... Defensively. This is Lamar's first game in 10 days. Their lone victory, by the way, this year over Tarleton State. Charlie. I think it's hard right now. Texas doesn't make the impact defensively that they want to, that Coach Schaefer wants them to, I don't think. Charlie's playing very well. Collier's got one-on-one. -on -one. Sure. the game. See how that changes the dynamic offensively for Vic Schaefer. It'll be a force down low. Meanwhile, Collier. Ortiz. There is Charlie with the board. He draws the foul. Both of these teams in the respective top 25s, right? Texas at 25 in the major poll. We have something to say about this game. Longhorns haven't been able to get into a great rhythm as of yet, but Charlie Collier. Another set play for Texas. Warren finds Collier down low. Another end. In Texas force 35 turnovers. Celeste Taylor short. Follows it up with a miss. Collier. But they're not in the top 25. Mm -hmm. Uh, nationally in the national rankings she can put up I think he's leaving her in there because he needs his team to play consistently and play well and he doesn't want to see a letdown in the last minutes of the game he wants to she is two for six from the field Collier to start off the game Warren feeds her with a nice pass down low and to the team has just been so cool for her Chevalier the freshman back out on the floor finds Alan Taylor feeds it down low to Charlie Collier. the young lady that I was saying is so talented set out last season after a knee injury that was a highly touted freshman coming in. Third quarter, Alan Taylor rips that one loose, and Celeste comes up with it. Dishing to Charlie Collier, and one. Everyone is... Collier tried to drop that one, and Charlie Collier, by the way, had 18 points in the third quarter alone, and there's an... have to have is somebody that's going to be that last stand. That's the sixth offensive foul they've taken in today's game. Six charges they've taken. It's going to spread out Texas's defense. And Allen Taylor with the miss, sliding to the bucket. Charlie with the board. It gets it to Eight threes to make this game competitive again. The same exact play for Texas. Nice pass yep. from Warren down low. For Louisiana Tech. Texas fourth in the nation in turnovers forced. They now have 61 on the year. Charlie 
pack it in on the lower part of the air, uh, the zone in order to keep Charlie from getting easy looks. Collier that they can go against, but still, it's not like playing full game speed. Charlie Collier just shut down the Longhorns to 11 points in the opening 10 minutes, their lowest point total in a quarter this season, and Charlie Collier goes. Great move from Collier. Texas fans were happy you did. Audrey Warren nearly comes up with the steal right there. D denied. Warren. Nice lob pass to Charlie Collier, who was double contortionist in the paint there. <laughs> Ortiz wide open Collier. She will take it out. Chevalier. Ebo looking for Collier. Finds her. Well, Charlie's Leads the all-time series, 6-2. Prisma Ortiz, nice touch pass down low to Mask. That I know, she had I saw off that. after breaking her nose a few games ago against Texas A&M. Yeah, I believe she had it on in practice yesterday, too. Great to score points. Alan Taylor. Nice pass. Chevalier, there you go. You talk about the pass. Just posted it, and then he sort of retweeted it and apologized to everybody, but... He talked about that in his press conference. He's like, hey, you take one for the team, you do what you got. It's so interesting to, to be in the arena right now because you can hear what all of the players are saying out there on the floor. I don't know if they've improved the most in the last couple of weeks. It's more natural. Early on in the season, they were uncomfortable getting to help side. They forgot to get to help side sometime. And she's just been extremely poised since then. She went through a stretch, starting with that game against A&M, where she was... Yeah, and she's going to face a lot more double teams, so she's going to have to go back up and get that ball. Ashley Jones tries the step around, runs into the... Collier looking for the open man. <laughs> through the paint on the other end Chandler Prater moments before that Texas turned it over as they were trying to find Charlie this time no turnover took the charge there well, and we talk about one of the key things that was missing at West Virginia the toughness for the team uh, she's the player Audrey Warren is the great Taylor finds Charlie Collier gets it to fall just a little sloppy with the ball. That's the one thing with Deanna Gaston in the middle when she makes catches and she has double teams. She needs to be careful about taking care of it here this this season. But today she has uh, really stepped up at the offensive end to score. Collier bumps into Merriweather.